Changawa is Kenya's number one tennis player. He's not number one by accident. He started playing tennis when he was just eight years old, and since then he's been hard on himself. So hard, in fact, that he's constantly pushed himself to be better and better. My brother Faiz, the big one, the old one, he teach me how to play tennis before when I try when I went to the Mombasa Sports Club. Yeah, and uh, my coach was uh, Lawrence Karanja. N right now he's in uh, Tunisia. He's officiating that side, and then. Uh, so he trained me for like two years and then I got opportunity, I went to South Africa to the ITF tennis performance. Yeah, and then I stayed there for like almost like three years and then I went to, and then I went to Morocco and Morocco, so I went there for like one year and then that time I was top 30 in the world. East African Sports Line recently caught up with Ishmael at the Britain Kenya Open. The Kenya number one won the tournament with relative ease. Tennis certainly runs in Ishmael's family. His sister is one of Kenya's top ladies players and has carved out quite a career for herself as well. I grew up uh, while seeing my older brothers playing tennis and I saw it was a good game so they took me into it and I'm glad that I'm doing much better. Ismail Changawa, he's a great tennis player. And lucky he got a scholarship and and he's still doing good in the States and I'm happy for him. His phone, his phone is very powerful and he's served. His first major tournament win was in 2007 when he won at the Kenya Open Junior Championships at the Nairobi Club. In 2010, he reached the semi-finals at the Africa Junior Under-14 Championships held in Abuja in Nigeria. It was in the same year that he was selected for a nine-week Euro Tour. He visited France, Belgium and Italy. Italy was really fun, it was four tournaments. I mean, the first year I didn't do really good. I mean, like, because I mean, it was the high level and stuff. So I went back and trained. So I went back and I took four tournaments in a row. That was my best. The highlight of playing his favorite sport was in 2012 in Belgium, when he won the International Tennis Federation tournament. And as a result, he was given a full scholarship to Seminole State College in the US to study and to play tennis. When I was done with junior, juniors, I went to, to the USA because I, was, I finished my studies. I was doing homeschooling because I was traveling everywhere, so I couldn't like go to school. So I was taking homeschooling, and then I got opportunity like full scholarship in uh, Oklahoma. There's a lot of good players that like those people that like 150 ATP in the world uh, the, who they didn't make it, so they go to the university to play. So there is like a uh, tournament every week, so it's it's good. In 2013, Ishmael participated at the International Tennis Federation Group 1 and Group A tournament. He reached the quarterfinals in both tournaments held in Italy. 2016 is said to be a good year for the 20-year-old. He's among the members of the Kenyan team that will fly the flag for Kenya at the Africa Group 3 Davis Cup in July on the red clay of Antananarivo University in Madagascar. I'm here to play for Kenya because, I mean, like right now, like in, in July on 13, we are going to Madagascar for the Davis Cup. We're a Kenyan team. We're training here every day. I came here like two weeks ago. And yeah, I mean, like, you know, in America, we don't have tennis courts like this. We only have like hard courts. So, so what the first day when I came was a little bit difficult, the first week. And the second week now, I start playing better.
When not on tour, Ishmael lives here at his tennis sponsor's house at the Karen Estate in Nairobi. And besides spending most of his time on the court and at school, Ishmael still finds time to enjoy other activities. The training and then when I come back home, you know, it's kind of a little bit tired. So I, uh, I just like take a shower, you know, eat, eat some little fruits and water and read and I like listen to music and I like when I'm done those stuff I like just go into my room you know and chill and make my own beats. He likes to read novels and compose music but the sweetest melody for Ishmael is the sound of victory. It sounds a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> 